Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Today I'm just going with a creative look, a just for fun look, or you can use this for a pride or festival type look. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm using the Melt Cosmetics number 96 brush, the Linea brush, and the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick, and I don't know, it's the color purple, but it's it's LSCL10, which remember I'm gonna list all the products I use below so that way you don't miss out. I'm just laying this down as a liquid base so that I can um, get the color to show up and not be patchy. And to set this purple liner, I'm gonna use the Anastasia or ABH and Alyssa Edwards palette. And the color is Believe. Since I'm following the pride flag colors or that style of the rainbow, I'm going to continue it with the blue color. It's called Dream It and it's just uh, using a tiny detailed concealer brush to put it on. This one doesn't have a name on it. I think it came with an eyebrow kit. To continue the green, since I want it to be more opaque as well, I'm going to use the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in the color Gotcha. And to set that, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil Row 3. I Eyeshadow number five and number six. Before I put on any yellow eyeshadow, I'm going to use the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Screamin'. And I'm going to set it with the ABH and Alyssa Edwards palette. The color is Brick Road.
to get some uh, orange base going I'm gonna use the these two products mixed together the NYX can't stop won't stop concealer in this shade 01 pale and the melts cosmetics monarca liquid set lipstick so the monarca is like a neon orange type of color since I don't need it to be so neon I'm just gonna lighten it up a bit with the concealer and I'm just gonna be using the cheap uh, Dollar Tree paintbrush it's just a detailed paintbrush from there and to set that orange color I'm gonna use the eyeshadow from the ABH and Norvina collection volume 1 it's eyeshadow E2 for the orange And then I'm going to top it with D3 for the red um, final color on the rainbow. You want to repeat the colors uh, or whatever colors you prefer. You can just do one color at the bottom if you don't feel like doing all of them over again. But I'm following basically the same order. And then in the waterline, I am going to end up using the, the yellow neon eyeliner. The same one I used earlier in the shade Screamin'. For the face part, um, as usual, it's sped up and not with detail, but I do want to let you know every single um, product I have used on this look is down below. Since I don't want too much product on my face, I'm going to use the reversed uh, contour and highlight method, which means I'm going to contour first and I'm just going to let it sit wherever I want it. Well, in this case, I'm not contouring, I'm bronzing, I'm sorry. So I'm going to bronze first with this e.l.f. palette. And I'm going to leave it where I want it to be. And I'm going to highlight and conceal using my concealer. And once I have those highlight and cream bronzer where I want it, I'm just going to basically marry them together, blend them together with my foundation. So this look I like to do because even if you want a full coverage, it doesn't mean using a full bottle of product. Full coverage is using the products in the most efficient way so that you can get a smooth and even canvas. But it doesn't necessarily mean you need to use the whole bottle.
To set everything, I'm going to be using the number 7 Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder. I saw this online as a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. And I've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury, but it has a hefty price tag on it. So I'm like, why not try the affordable one first? And let me tell you, I freaking love it. And I have no regrets. And if you use a pointed powder brush, it's going to apply even better. Because um, when you have a pointed powder brush, the brush hairs or brush fibers, they're going to be, they go from short to tall. So they increase in length. And that just makes for a better application to blend out the powder instead of just applying a patch in one area. For my bronzer and contour, I'm using something I already know I love, which is the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer and the NYX High Definition Blush and Taupe. To highlight, I'm going to use Helia on my cheeks. I love this color because even though it's a green shade, it's more golden than green. So it looks so cute. And then on the rest of the face and to top it off, I'm going to use Lyra and Eclipse. For the blush, I'm using one of my favorites, which is the Tarte Blush in Prize. And to clean up the nose contour and the cheek area, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. The setting spray I've come to love is the Catrice Long Lasting Prime and Fine Fixing Spray. It's a little purple bottle. When I do a bold eye, I usually go for a very nude lip. But in this case, I figured I'd just top it off with a fun and cute color, which is a red, lip, a red lipstick. For mascara, it's a Maybelline Lash Discovery, the mini brush waterproof one, and I honestly don't really recommend it. Not even for the bottom lash line because I feel like it doesn't really grasp your, your little hairs to comb them through, so I feel like it doesn't apply product as well. So the brush is a nice size, but it's not a nice design, so I'm going to pass on this one. I wouldn't pick it up again. And... Last but not least, I added a little fun heart because, you know, love is love. And it's using the NYX White Liquid Liner. I really appreciate you coming back to my channel. Please subscribe, like, and turn on your notification bell.